Let's send you down to the field and Aaron Andrews. Joe, thank you so much. Richard, let me ask you the final play. Take me through it. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who was talking about you? Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. Or you, I'm going to shut it for you real quick. L.O.B. All right, before... And, Joe, back over to you. All right, well, we saw... I know you said you, you were thankful for the organization to have you back. Is there anything you have to show to the fans, you have to prove to the fans, to, for them to welcome you back this year? There's a lot of people upset uh, with the way things went down in the offseason. Didn't I just tell you don't ask me that? Yeah, but, you know. You out the conclusion. Turn around. Go back. Go back that way. Bye. See you. Next question. That's his last interview for the year. See y'all later. <laughs> Don't come over here no more for the rest of the year. Um, it's 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 not difficult to do your research. Um, but he's, I, I obviously do. Um, in which way was I incorrect? It's a little different. It's a little different. I don't work for Brandon Brown. You, you don't have anything else? Oh no, I do, but I'm wondering how much research you do. But you, you never answer my you never you never go on with our discussion. You never you never concluded that. So I don't work for Brandon Brown, so the point is invalid. And start this this thing off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I think I said some a couple weeks ago. Look, I got fined twenty five thousand dollars for not talking to you all and uh me personally, I really don't care, but at the same time, I do ask, I do ask questions, I mean answer questions throughout the week, but for the league to find me $25,000, I'm not going to answer any more questions for the rest of this year. If it's going to be uh, an interview, I'm going to conduct it. So I'll answer my own questions, ask myself the questions, then give y'all the answers. So from here on out, I'm not answering any more questions for the rest of the year. Uh, you, you it's difficult to have a discussion with someone who has no information. You don't have any information. I have all the research, but I'm giving, I'm doing your job for you. And it's, you're making it difficult to have a discussion because this, I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm doing my research. Late in the game, uh, the cameras, as you'll see here on the sidelines, catch a picture of Derek Anderson, the quarterback, and, and Deuce Latouille alignment, and there, there's a smile on his face. And afterwards, a reporter asked, "What's so funny?" What, what were you saying in that instance that you were trying to be positive that was funny? And I, I don't mean this to be sarcastic or, or pointed, but I mean, that went out on Monday Night Television. A lot of fans are talking about it right now as a big problem with this team. Can you put it in context what was going on at that moment? What caused you? What Deuce and I talk about is nobody else's business. But why was something funny when you're down 18 points in the fourth quarter? It wasn't, it wasn't funny. I wasn't laughing about anything. The camera showed you laughing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You commented about it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not laughing about it. You think this is funny? I take this serious. I'm not. I'm Real serious. I, I put my heart and soul into this every single week. All I'm saying is the camera shows I'm just telling you right now what I do every single week. Every single week. I put my freaking heart and soul into this. I study my off. I don't go out there and laugh. It's not funny. funny to me. I don't want to go out there and get embarrassed on Monday Night Football in front of everybody. That's why I'm asking you what. I'm telling you right now. We're not. Can we're I... talking. Deuce and I are talking. What was the context? I'm done. Sorry. I'm not dealing with that final 72-yard play that Michael Thomas caught. What were you seeing on that, and how did that play go down from your side? Uh, shit. Third down and six. Got up there and pressed. Can you back that mic up a little bit on my face, though? I appreciate it. But um, third down and six, man. Got up the line. He just beat me off the line. Uh, look back, try to make a play on the ball. Shit happens like that in football. Four picks against Grossman and two fumbles. What did you see about the Bears? Uh, we shut them down that way? No, we, you know, I mean, we, we just, uh, let's, we, the Bears are what we thought they were. What, what, what we thought they were. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason like it's bull? We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. A couple more for Marcus. Marcus. Are you totally healthy? Huh? Are you totally Why healthy? Why are you asking me that? Well, because I'm wondering, you, early in the year, you were, you had a 
ankle problem. How long ago that was? No, no, no. See, we asking the question. See, don't get mad at me when no, I ask no, you a question. No, no, no. See, I'm asking you. See, I'm asking you a question now. You feel me? It was early in the year. That was like seven weeks ago. Okay. I'm healthy now, man. You know, things happen like that. You know. But nah, I didn't. I don't mean nothing by asking you that back. I'm just saying, don't ask nothing that that, that makes totally sense. If I wasn't healthy, coach wouldn't have me out there. Like I said, I've had a bad couple of weeks. You feel me? I owned up to that and I step up, man. I know I'm a, I'm a top fucking corner in this league and I ain't been playing like it. Marcus, you feel me? Last one. Can I you, put that on me. You feel me? Can you put your finger on what the problem is? No, it, it, it's just, man, shit happens. It's football. How good do you really believe you are? Because you got people out there looking at you and saying, he's just talking smack. How good do you believe you are? Well, I believe my numbers speak for themselves. I mean, my tape speaks for myself, for itself. My tape is my resume. That's, that's what I leave it up to. I mean, you can say whatever you want. Skip can say whatever he wants, but Skip, whenever you refer to me, whenever you speak to me, whenever you address me, address, address me as all pro Stanford graduate because those are some accomplishments you will never, you can aspire to, you will never accomplish. You have never accomplished anything. Were you where Sean Payton said after that New Orleans game, he said in that last sequence, we wanted, they got the matchup they wanted mm -hmm. with you on him one-on-one. Tell on Sean one. Payton, keep talking that shit. we gonna see him soon. You feel me? Fair enough. Yeah, because I like what he was saying on the sidelines too. So tell him keep talking that shit. and I hope you see me soon. You feel me? And then we gonna have a good little, nice little bowl of gumbo together. This is what's great about sports. This is what the greatest thing about sports is. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters. I, I think I've accomplished more in my field than you have in yours, though you're just getting started. So, so I'm, I'm the top of my field. So I'm all pro. I'm the best, one okay. of the best 22 players in the NFL. You're, you're going to brush it off, but I don't think you're the best 22 anything in sports and in, in media and well, that's, anything. I think that's you debatable. think more of yourself than you actually can, you know, prove. But okay. I'll, you think you're like better this. Darrell like Revis is right now? In my in my 24 years of life, I'm better at life than you. Okay. So let's, All right, that's let's fair. Get, let's All get right. let's get down right. well, to well, let's stay, let's not get personal here. I just no, want to no, know. No, just not, it's do, not you, do you this think you're better than Darrell Revis is right now? I'm better than you. That is perfectly fine because I understand that I, I am intelligent enough, and capable enough to understand that you are ignorant, pompous, egotistical, cretin. And that's, that's really what it comes down to. And I'm going to crush you on here in front of everybody because I'm tired of hearing about it. Uh, I, I think you're having a problem no, no, crushing no, me because you've avoided every question that we've asked you about why I'm you're your engaging pollution. in so much trash talk with pollution. Revis and Roddy and all the others. I'm, I'm talking to you right now. This isn't about any of them. So, so let's talk here right now. I mean, you're bringing up old well, stuff. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about right here, right now. On the screen, it says 12 picks, four forced fumbles, and two NFL seasons. Let's talk about that. And that was a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. In my opinion, that sucked. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Oh, says that you have Come here, I want to see your face when you ask me this question and the way you're going to ask it. I know you're going to ask it in a way that's just more of a division and more of a negative way than what it was. All right, so come here, I want to see your face. Please, part so I can see your face. If you are a responsible journalist and look me in the eye ask me this question, please. The way that, that um, well, you want to ask it, come here. Look a man in the eye before you try to kill him or make up something. Look him in the eye. Plexico okay. says you haven't spoken with him about your comments on WFAN. Is that true? I haven't spoken to you about him. 